Eric's ego was so crushed in yeah. the first few months of our dating, and That's then rough. also, uh. I mean, I think, I think besides running fifty miles. Being with me is one of the hardest things that you have done. Yeah, it's it's. I've went to counseling. I mean, I've talked. To, I've cried on my mom's shoulder. I mean, I've done everything to be with this woman. It's just, God, it's soul crushing. <laughs> Yes, my name is Suchetta. Um, right now, I'm, I guess I, I took your name, so it's Wilkin. That's right. That's right. <laughs> I just want to be a one-name celebrity. I don't need anybody's last name. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, um, I started the Resplendent Pro in my garage uh, with my ex-boyfriend. He used to do the, all the prep work, sanding and everything, and I used to paint. Got this it. was in my garage. I wanted a, a piece of shiny piece of furniture, a little accent table for my living room. And uh, I started looking, I looked up on Craigslist or whatever, there was nothing I could actually buy. So I said, I'm gonna paint one. And I just went down the rabbit hole of researching on the paint. And uh, basically just, that's how it all started. Um, I was painting several years ago myself. I think uh, when I was at the older sh old shop, I was doing all the painting myself, but I, that had to go quickly because you can't scale. So then I painted a bedroom uh, set so it was a dresser nightstands and a mirror and it was super pretty light gray put it on uh, Etsy and some client in Casper Wyoming approached me and she said hey I want to buy this and I'm like uh, I had to look at American like the map of, of because I didn't know where Casper was forget I didn't know where Wyoming was <laughs> so yes yeah, so I found somebody who will go to Casper Wyoming uh, and so the furniture set was $800 the shipping was $500 and this client paid for both of those things, no questions asked. And I was like, oh shit, something's here. Like, I think I can make this into a business. A, um, I'm gonna do a video of this one, mm -hmm. um, but I need you to fix uh, a couple of spots on that black uh, chest when you're done with this, when you put it over there. Okay. Yeah, sorry. Hey, uh, uh, no, 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 no. Cuidado con los, no. con los get the, your hand in here. The kind of yeah. There you yes, go. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> this is new. Yeah. Still good. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's happening with that. Um, the bamboo doesn't line up. Honey. Yes, sir. The bamboo doesn't line up. Then I better do something about it. I met Eric on Match, shockingly. I think we could be a great uh, commercial for Match because mm -hmm. I was a furniture seller and he was a cabinet maker. <laughs> <laughs> so they really did a really decent job in matching us. I joke actually sometimes that ours was an arranged marriage. But... Nope. Okay, so my question is if we lift up the back. Oh yeah. See, so it's the floor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is the floor. Yeah. Does it uh, need something in the back on the legs? No, it has something. Okay. Yeah, well, it just needs to be shimmed, okay? Go ahead and put that back in here. Let me get a shim. We'll look at it with it uh, shimmed into place correctly. Yeah. So, yeah, I met him on match at the time. Um, I was basically shut down by the city uh, because I did not have a proper spray booth and the fire suppression system, things like that. This is where we paint. This is our paint booth. This got us shut down. We were almost out of business years ago. Had to put a booth in this place. And uh, yeah, I was actually operating illegally for about a month in this location. I was working from like six o'clock or eight o'clock at night. Then I would go home at two o'clock in the morning. Then I would wake up at eight o'clock in the morning again because my phone would blow up. And I would come back to the shop and be here by myself, you know, working on things. That's what I did for about a month. And then we got the permit from the city and we became all legal. All right, we well, need to come up more. Yep. Yep, that's better. More? No, 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 that's good. That good? Well, no, 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 almost there. Almost there. You just said Keep good. going. Keep going. Okay. Oh, fuck off. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. So Eric owned several businesses before. I think my general philosophy in life is that if you, if something doesn't almost kill you um, in order to like succeed or you know do it, like it, you haven't really 
lived in a way. So Eric had that extremist kind of has still has that mindset of going to the max, running 50 miles, you know, doing all this crazy fish. Um, so that mindset is there and that was, you know, uh, very intriguing and nothing I have, uh, um, I've seen before, Eric is not afraid of hard work. He's worked, you know, 80 hour uh, weeks and which was uh, an issue with my previous relationship because I can't, I can't be with lazy people. I don't think it's the floor. I'm not. You don't think so? It's not okay, well, so do all the gaps look better now, I guess? Yeah. Yeah, I guess they all look better at this point. It's not the floor. Maybe we need to add an adjustable. Well, it, here's the problem. You see, see the back leg? Yeah. See how that foot is screwed all oh, the way down? Yeah. That's the issue. Okay. Um, so, you know, his hard work, um, his, you know, the fact that he kept trying um, to start a business, run a business, be successful, that was kind of a, was a big deal. Most, most women, they, you know, they put their best foot forward, this is how I look, and then you meet them and you're like, what the, you, you, you said you were a 10, you're a four. Like, what, <laughs> what's going on, this is horrible. She well, put a respirator on her, yeah. her picture. Like, this is a woman trying to sell herself to a man. <laughs> with a full face respirator and so I immediately thought like I don't care what this chick looks like I'm gonna at least check check her out you know she just um because because of that picture it, it garnered my interest like right away I was like well, this is really cool there's something here this chick is obviously doesn't give give a you know doesn't give a house I mean basically yeah and she wasn't gonna put herself out there as something that she wasn't like this is who I am this is what you're gonna get and then and then yeah we, we got together and went on some dates and found out um, she's into furniture she was a uh, you know had her own business and she you know, quit her job previously and just like had thrown all her chips on the table and was just going after it and uh, I just really admired that and uh, it was very attractive and and yeah we just we just hit it hit it off the hit it right off the bat so I'm a, I'm a transient kind of a person like I've, just, I've been all over the place I grew up in Oregon and uh, Family had a woodworking business, and um, so I always was woodworking. I always joke that, you know, most people are getting G.I. Joes, and, you know, I got a sander and a chisel. Woodwork is just, it's all I've ever done, you know. And yeah, I had other jobs, uh, but for the most part, I've always built furniture, whether it was office furniture, um, you know, stuff for police departments. Um, I've done libraries. I mean, anything you could think of, I built it. But I got into aviation and uh, built furniture for private aircrafts, and, um, yeah, it just turned into, uh, it turned into an expectation where, you know, you're your furniture from offices and your residential furniture was of a certain quality to where I moved into aviation where you're talking 50, 60, 70, 100 million dollar aircraft. It's great for what we do here at the Resplendent Crow because it just, our quality is so high. So for me, it's the transformation because a lot of times when the things that I do, like changing out hardware or, you know, making a modification, adding a base or whatever, like I am envisioning things in my head and I'm thinking, okay, this is gonna look great, but you really don't know until the finished product comes out. So for example, this china cabinet, okay? This came to us, it was just the fretwork was all busted. It was it had completely fallen apart. Um, I decided that we're gonna do this light blue um, lacquer. We're gonna do this beautiful Schumacher wallpaper. This is like a $400 wallpaper. Um, and I'm gonna do some beautiful hardware. I think this is gonna look the way I think it's gonna look but I still don't know that because it's still in parts. So when it comes out, you're like, oh wow, this looks amazing. And it doesn't get old, does it? It never gets old. It never gets old. I still get excited at the gloss and the colors that I, um, and also when I get feedback from our shippers that the clients are super thrilled. I mean, there are clients who will cry. There are clients who are jumping up and down. Um, that That is huge, that is huge. So for me, it's, it's the Resplendent Crow, is for, for me, it's a, it's just like a personal success. Like, I finally, it's like the culmination of everything I've done as a person, you know, just not, I mean, never, like I said, never graduated high school, never amounting to who, you know, everyone thought that I should have been. I finally am that person, and I get to go through this company every day, and I get to see the quality that we put out, which is such a, I say it all the time, It's it feels really good. Like, just yesterday, I mean, I, I look at a piece of furniture, and I, I just gather the guys around, I'm like, this is amazing. Like, we're still, we're the best at this, we're still getting better. And I love it, it means so much to me to see the products that we send out and to see our processes get better, our people get better at their jobs, the customer feedback is better. I mean, God, how much feedback do we have? It's insane. Yeah. I just love it, it feels good every day. I mean, there's no, I don't ever get up and think, oh, fuck, I gotta go into work. Mm -hmm. Like, I just come up, I, I, I can't wait to get here. It's still that way for me, I love it, I love it so much. Mm -hmm.